I'm Danny Epperson inside the perfectly preserved Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15 and our presentation of 1988's Gorillas in the Mist. Today, only about 1,000 mountain gorillas exist on planet Earth. Many believe that number would be zero if not for the work of a remarkable woman named Diane Fossey. Starting in 1967, the American naturalist dedicated her life to the study and protection of mountain gorillas. I came here essentially for research, and I don't believe that you can close your eyes or close your mind to the problems of conservation. She brought worldwide attention to the plight of the endangered apes. And in 1988, Hollywood decided to repay the favor. Gorillas in the Mist tells the story of Fosse's incredible 18-year adventure in the African jungle. Director Michael Apted and screenwriter Anna Hamilton Phelan adapted Fosse's 1983 autobiography to bring her story to the screen. The director wanted to shoot the film authentically, which meant meeting the mountain gorillas in their natural habitat. They also needed to find an actress willing to work and live in the jungle for eight weeks and a woman tough enough to hold her own against poachers and massive silverback gorillas. Emergency. Sigourney Weaver, fresh from her starring role in Aliens, seemed like a pretty good fit. You now have 14 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. Gorillas in the Mist shot for two months in the same place where Fosse lived and worked in Rwanda. The production team established a camp 8,000 feet up a mountain, hiked and hauled equipment another 4,000 feet to film at Fosse's research center and the gorilla habitat. The real story happened here. This is the land that Diane Fosse trod, clearly where the gorillas are, and I decided from the very beginning to take the movie to the gorillas. Shooting scenes with the mountain gorillas was even trickier. The government restricted filming to one hour per day and allowed only Sigourney Weaver and a five-person crew to interact with the apes. But all the extra effort paid off. You could say that audiences and critics both went bananas for Gorillas in the Mist, nominating it for five Academy Awards. I'll be back after the movie to tell you about the biggest, hairiest behind the scenes secret, but for now, Grab your favorite leaves, shoots, and stems, hit the lights, and enjoy Gorillas in the Mist. Sir Gurney Weaver deserves a medal for bravery. The goal for filmmakers was to introduce the actors to the gorillas and have them accept her like they had accepted Fosse. Weaver learned how to communicate with signs and sounds, and she studied Diane Fossey's rules of gorilla etiquette. Following Fossey's playbook proved especially valuable during one surprise move by a male silverback. The 400-pound ape rushed towards the actress. Weaver froze in a submissive position and waited. And I just turned around and sat as still as I could and hoped that I hadn't done anything to really irritating. Just hold it now. Look, he's going past. That's okay. Good. That's terrific. Thank you. Fortunately for her, the gorilla lost interest and moved on. Lucky for us, he captured that moment on film. There are lots of those unexpected moments in Gorillas in the Mist, but a big reason that they work so well in the film is thanks to special effects wizard Rick Baker. Publicly, the producers did not acknowledge the use of costumes, makeup, or movie magic. They wanted audiences to believe that all the apes were real. Baker was a groundbreaking makeup and effects artist. In 1981, he won the very first Oscar for Best Makeup for An American Werewolf in London. First of all, I'd like to thank the Academy for creating this new category, and I'm very proud to be the first winner. His impressive resume includes Star Wars, King Kong, and Michael Jackson's Thriller. Baker's makeup crew built custom gorilla suits and cutting edge robotic puppets so that scenes between the cast and real gorillas would blend seamlessly. And because working closely with baby gorillas would have been too dangerous, they sometimes used chimpanzees in makeup and gorilla fur. 
So Gurney Weaver said that playing Diane Fossey changed her life and the way she looks at the world. Since 1988, she has been an honorary chair of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund and continues to fight for the protection of gorillas. She returned to the Rwandan jungle for a BBC documentary. I wasn't expecting Pablo to turn around. In that mesmerizing moment, 20 years just slip away. He still looks the same, just has a few more gray hairs, as do I. If you'd like to know more about how you can help, visit the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund website, gorillafund.org. That's all I have for this week. I'm Danny Epperson, and I will see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie. I'm Danny Epperson. Here's a classic movie quiz. 1988's Gorillas in the Mist stars Sir Gurney Weaver as naturalist Diane Fossey. I want this job. The film earned her an Academy Award nomination. How many times has Weaver been nominated for an Oscar? They don't go. I don't go. Three. You provide the popcorn, the couch, and the TV. We'll provide great movies like Gorillas in the Mist. Watch Cinema 15, Saturday night at 8 on WHRO TV 15.